Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be on how I overdraw my lips. So recently on like social media and everything, I've been getting asked whether I have lip injections and I don't. Um, I just like to overdraw my lips and I naturally have quite big lips anyway. I mean, when I say big, they're not big. I just think they're very full and they're quite even. I mean, they're not big by any means. <laughs> Especially about like lip liner or anything like that. I mean, this is them with nothing on right now, and I mean, they're they're an the alright size. I mean, I thought about having lip injections for a long time, and like everybody tells me that I don't need them, and sometimes I don't think I need them. And I mean, nobody needs lip injections. You know, I don't promote like you know getting lips done if if that's not what you want. But I think. Using lip liner and lipstick, you can achieve a fuller lip. I mean, obviously, you don't go crazy and make yourself look, you know, silly or anything like that. But I think makeup is definitely a way of enhancing what you already have. Um, but also, in the same in the same breath, um, if you do want lip injections and you're comfortable enough to do that, then I completely support that because I know what it's like to, you know, want that like bigger lip look. I think really it's down to preference and what makes you happy so I just you know do you do what makes you happy and you know let's crack on with the video so today I'm going to be doing a nude lip because my eye look is quite dramatic I'm gonna keep it quite nude with the lip so I'm taking this W7 lip twister and it is in the shade nude Um, so I'm just gonna take this and you see the thing is my lip line is quite blurred so it's very easy for me to overline whereas if you have more of a like defined lip shape sometimes it's a bit more difficult to disguise that especially with nudes but it can be done so I'll just show you what I do so first of all I start on the top and I kind of just this side is a little bit lower, not overly so, but a little bit more, a little bit more d down, if that makes sense. So this side's quite full around here, and then this side goes down here. So I kind of fix that with a lip liner. So And the key of overlining is to kind of go just above your natural lip line. You don't want to go like crazy and go like, you know, up here or anything like that. You just want to go just above. Like that. See, so this side is always much easier to do. And then, I'm trying to make sure you can see. So I have to like exaggerate a lot more on this side. So already you can see they kind of look a lot more even. So now we've got the basis of the top done. I'm going to start on the bottom and I kind of... It's different on different days. Sometimes I like to really overdraw the top and the bottom and then sometimes I just even out the top and you know just go around my my natural bottom lip because sometimes if you overdraw the bottom lip then it does look very fake and it can look quite silly if you can see like where you know the actual lip ends and then the liner carries on 
I mean, like I say, sometimes I do do that, not like to the point where it's ridiculous, just sometimes I do go quite a bit more, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, but today I'm just going to go pretty much along my, my natural lip line. The best place on the bottom lip to overline is just there, just at the bottom, like that. It just makes the lip look a bit more pouty. Sorry guys, if you can't see that. <laughs> so as I say, I've, I've stayed quite true to the sides of my lips. And I've focused a lot of the overlining right here. I also like to kind of give myself a bit more of a cupid's bow because I don't really have, you know, like a really super divide, like, divide, defined one. So. Now, once you've got your lips overlined, I like to take the lip liner and fill my whole lip in with the liner. It's not. Never mind. And once I've done that, then I'm going to go in with the lipstick. So today I'm going to go in with my Shenexo BH Cosmetic Palette. And I'm going to be using, obviously, the lipstick side. And I'm going to take hmm, this more nude colour here. It's showing up a lot darker on camera, but in real life it's a bit more nude. Now, I'm just going to use my finger, and obviously it's clean, so it's not a problem. And I'm just going to use the mirror of the palette. I'm just going to do like a really sheer layer of this. And this is just like a touch like lighter than the li like the lip liner, so it's going to give like a slight ombre. Now I'm going to add some Tanya Burr lip gloss in the shade Daydream over the top and gloss is going to make your lips look that bit more pouty and a bit more fuller. This is like a really pretty like soft nude colour. I'm just going to add a little bit of this, not too much. Like that. And as you can see, instantly the lips just look a bit more bit more pouty and a bit more big and that pretty much concludes this video guys so I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe you learned something from this video so please hit like and subscribe um, I'm going to be making a lot more videos 
and they'll be coming soon on a lot of like quite different makeup looks, some dramatic, some kind of soft glam looks. So if you're interested in that, then please subscribe and I'll see you next time guys. Mwah. Bye.